On Sunday afternoon, when the news first broke, social media exploded and within an hour, all Iranians knew about the helicopter crash. But many were hopeful that rescue teams would find the victims. Initial reports in Iranian state-controlled media used the term hard landing instead of crash or fall. Rescue teams were immediately sent to the northwest of the country and a vast operation was launched. Heavy fog and low visibility prohibited the use of helicopters. Rescue teams from the Iranian Red Crescent organization closed in on the area where the crash took place. But it was getting dark, limiting the options to walking through the mountains and using detective drones. The search and rescue teams finally found the crashed helicopter 15 hours after the incident. Initial images showed no sign of life inside the chopper. Finally, at 4.30 GMT, Iran's national news channel officially announced there were no survivors. President Ibrahim Raisi was 63 years old and still had a year to end his first presidential term. Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian was 60 years old and served as Raisi's minister from the beginning. People were worried and did not know how to react to the shocking news, but the Supreme Leader made a statement on Sunday evening. The security of the country and the security of our borders, everyday affairs and all other tasks of the executive power will be carried out. People should not worry at all. When a president passes away, the Constitution of the Islamic Republic states that his first vice president temporarily takes over after approval by the Supreme Leader. On Monday, a committee was formed by the vice president, head of the judiciary, and the head of the parliament. It's been tasked with facilitating the election of a new president within 50 days. Up until then, the country's interim president will be Mohammad Mukhber. Ehsan Kaybani, CGTN. Tehran.